when did you start riding and then racing? Started riding when I was about 20, and I'm now 49. I uh, started racing about five years ago. Um, how many Hawthorne crits have you done? This year I've only done about four, but last two seasons we did every one. What do you hope to get out of today's race? Oh, look, just basically make sure I stay with the bunch and just get a good workout, really. It's not about winning for me, so it's just about, you know, finishing and having a good time. Started riding probably about 10 years ago and uh, just with mates and then sort of started racing last year. This is my uh, second crit. Did my first crit in December last year, really enjoyed it. It's been a really good community and I uh, thought I'd give it another crack this year and see if I can get a bit fitter, a bit stronger. How long crits have you done? Just the two. This will be the second one tonight. I haven't, haven't had any plans yet, but I've heard Glenvale's pretty good. Bit, bit of fun, it's a bit flatter, uh, but it's a bit easier to get to here after work and a uh, bit of a hill, which is a bit of fun. Just to get a bit fitter, uh, meet a few new, new people, uh, hopefully get better and uh, maybe go to sea grade one day. When did you start riding and then racing? Uh, riding started a couple of years ago, thanks to a thing I did at primary school, Great Victorian Bike Ride, uh, year six, uh, uh, they took a bunch of year sixes on that and ever since then I've sort of been, you know, interested in cycling. A couple of months ago, you know, I decided that I might want to take the sport a bit more seriously, got a, you know, a drop bar bike and, and got a race license and started racing just uh, late last year. Way. How many Hawthorne crits have you done? Uh, this may be my fourth or fifth, so not that many. Do you plan on doing any other crits? Uh, yes, I've done crits at a variety of other locations. Uh, recently I've just been sort of doing them as many places as possible. Uh, and uh, what do you hope to get out of today's race? Probably just more race skills. Each race I've done here, I've learned something new about racing. And it's been, you know, quite educational. I could the shirty stick they've run away. First, second and third and there's no more under 17s left, we won't have another separate prize for this. Travelling marshals will try to do what they can to help preserve the gap. Feeling good? Otherwise you'll, get, you'll just be compressed with everybody else. You? Yeah. Save a bit of energy so you can go again. Any question? We'll go for 25 plus 3. Just go neutral until um, the marshals give you the go. If you go 2 or 3 abreast of B-Rate, come to pass. Let's go, I can't see B-Rate yet, so just 2 or 3 abreast till they come to pass. Have fun, marshals. Neutral till the marshals give you a head. B grade yet, so just two or three abreast till they come past. And neutral till the marshals give you a head for freedom. So well, there's our cameraman being swallowed up as the D grade go past. Both Glenn's in the middle, and so we've got our other guy, both in the middle. Did a pretty good job sitting right there. 
He's a D-grade group here. Warwick's right behind Glenn. They're doing a very good job. They must be holding their position well in the corner. Yeah, I'm just looking for... Keep it up, keep it up! Three laps. D-grades all together. And that young fella's in there. Keep it up, three more laps, three more laps! Three more, three more. It's a big Coming learning curve. Four. Grupo Compacto. A few guys trying to get off the front. And the riders who've been doing most of the work during the race are hanging on. He is, here he is here. He's, he's doing well. Still sitting in. Should up to go for a young fella, and he's still holding in there. Fried a young gun. He's held in there well. He's finished. What was the highlight from today's race? Oh, getting to the end. What did you learn from, from today's race? Um, the racing with juniors is a lot more sketchy than it is with rock racing with seniors. A lot, of, a lot of juniors in that race, so it makes it a bit more challenging, I'd say. What's the goal for future races? Oh, just to keep on improving and, you know, try and hold back that biological clock as much as I can, really. So, just keep going as long as I can, as long as the body holds out. Okay. So, how'd you go today? Uh, not the best. You know. <laughs> what was the highlight from today's race? Today's race? Uh, don't really think there was one. No. Probably the start, I'd say. What did you learn from today's race? Uh, to eat beforehand. Uh, the highlight is getting back to having a bit of fun and uh, enjoying a bit, of, a bit of adrenaline, I suppose, as well as some uh, competitive spirit. Uh, it was a bit, bit of fun, a lot of hard work, but uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, what did you learn? Uh, I learned how to position myself a bit better, uh, watch out for uh, people coming on the left hand side, which you're not really used to when you're road riding, uh, and also just to uh, push as much as I can to try and keep to that bunch. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and what's the goal for future races? Uh, the goal would be to be, be about top 10 or a little bit more and try and uh, go up a grade. Uh, just to get a bit of fitness and I've got to work a bit harder on that and yeah, have a bit more fun. Awesome. Thanks up. Be proud, come on, put your arms up. These juniors are really taking out of the grade, I'll tell you what. I can't catch them, I can't wait.